so freaking easy. Look, I cut it with the multi-tool. I know, it was super easy. It didn't even have sparks, I was worried. I was like, I don't know what this is gonna be like, so I wore everything. <laughs> That is as far as you wanted it, right? Yeah. Cool. So that's actually, I just put it on there perfectly. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's say this is the front, right? Yeah. So the rail has to come up to here because it has to sit on it. Yeah, this will sit. This will sit right there. All right, this will sit here. And then I'm going to use this like that. Right? Yeah. That's the size of it. And then you want to be able to move it backwards mm -hmm. so that this comes all like kind of a putting it away. So that this right. Is so you slide it forward. So then this. Slide the thing forward first. Slide it all yeah. the way to the front. Mm -hmm. right? I'm not going to be doing that, but okay. I'm doing it so not push it back. I'm just saying. Then, I don't want to like. Yeah, don't slide don't it. Don't scratch it. And then it would slide. Yeah. Just have to back to like there. Yeah. So okay. at least it's a little so bit then, out of the way. Yeah. So that means that now this point here, which was there, oh, I can see that. Now it has to go to there right. because it's the front of it. Right. And it sits there. Yeah. So it would just be that moving this here, and then you would just have this channel sitting here. So I probably need to get a bolt that we, or like a screw we have to see the size of that hole to see what I need to buy. You just gotta look at all our bolts and nuts and stuff that we have to buy one. Um, well, if you will look in the drawer marked screws. With the bolt. Okay. Wow. Semantics. Pull it out. <laughs> Which I'm gonna get something for that, but yeah, that's our. Um, the, random the bolt thing. Yeah, this is our catch-all. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, when you test it, you know, look at that. Hmm. That fits. But it also needs to fit in, like, in here. Yeah, that's the other part. Like, does it fit in there? Like, this no. one doesn't. But you know that this now is a M8 by 16. So what we need, I'm gonna take this and it's this one in metric. Let's see, five sixteenth in standard. I'm gonna come over here to the hex bolts and let's see, five sixteenth, one and one half. It's really what we need. Let's see if it'll fit in here. Negative. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Mama. Should I try that one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it fits. Where'd you get this one? See? They map the same. Okay, so it's a quarter. It's a bit smaller. As long as that is bigger, it should be okay. Okay, so. We're gonna get these. Whoa, look at these. One quarter. That's a big washer. Yeah. We got it from here, so we're gonna get one and one half. This is a bigger one. So it does not need to be longer. Okay. And that still look fits. Mom. Look at those big washers. Yeah. What? So we need four of these. Nuts <laughs> for one and one quarter. Hey guys. We got one and one half, and I'm gonna get the hex nuts, not the stop nut, so it can actually go down all the way. what's really important about this is where the dot is this way not this way 
because I'm gonna take my Sharpie. It has to be in the center regardless. So I'm gonna take my Sharpie and mark the center right there. And then this is off a little bit, but that's fine. I'm just gonna mark the center right there. So that's where I'm gonna drill my hole. All right, we're gonna test this out first on this scrap piece I have. I have a quarter inch bit, which will fit this. So let's make sure it works right. That worked perfectly. Ooh, perfect. That is beautiful. <laughs> uh oh, I drilled through the table. Oops. So this has a pointy tip. I'm trying to get the point right on that crease. <laughs> that goes right through, beautiful. We're gonna go this way. Oh, beautiful. So now we have the tracks almost done. The inside has the hole with the screw in it that's gonna attach to the miter saw. And now I also cut a hole in the track, which is going to hold a pin. So when it's pulled forward and I push the saw back to actually saw things, it won't just slide back. I'm gonna put a pin right here. Let's just get that. So this is the pin that we got. It is called a hitch pin. So it looks like this. And then when it's down, I'm gonna put it right there and it fits in perfectly. And I could even drill a hole into the wood block, uh, the butcher block as well. I might, I might not. We'll see how it works. If I need more stability, then I'll, I'll drill down further. So, we have that. Now what we're gonna be doing is drilling holes so that we can secure these to the butcher block. So I'm gonna do on either end. And this bit is a countersinking bit. So I'm going to countersink and then do an actual hole that'll fit the screws but I wanna make sure it countersinks so that these glide over smoothly and there's no issues there. It doesn't really matter where I place them. Um, I'm just gonna not do them too close to the edge. And that's it. Let's get you a better view here. Uh, never put your drill like that. See, there are those two hitch pin holes. not working well. Since that didn't work out well, I'm gonna try to drill the hole first and then do the countersinking. The drill bit needs to be just as big as the screw so that the screw can go all the way in. As opposed to wood, you want it a little bit smaller so the screw can grip on the wood. But this is just trying to go through and pull it down into the wood and secure it there. So oh, let's try this again. Almost. Almost, almost. There we go. I feel like that's good enough, but I think there's some shrapnel in there. Okay, that should go through okay, but I need to make sure. should be fine. Here's where we're at. Put my slides on the saw exactly where it's supposed to go. 
I made sure that they were square to the edge and even back, I guess. I don't know. I made sure they were square to the edge. So I traced around and that's what I have here. Now I'm gonna take my router and set it to the depth of these so that the miter saw stays at the same level that I designed this for because it just sitting on this top is the exact right height to be level with these countertops. So we want to keep that the same. So we're going to inset these. Should I just freehand it? Should I do tape? Can we stay in the lines? Can you hear me? What? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, buddy, I can hear you. I see your ear. Yeah, I see your ear too. That'll help me keep a straight line. All set. Let's get the miter saw installed. Oh my gosh, this is heavy.
<laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. It works. I just can't tighten these all the way because then it tightens it to the counter because it's level. But that's okay, right? Look at that. Perfect. 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 I also need to test my hitch pins. Remember, I drilled the hole in the back. And now I need to see if they fit. Hmm. Kind of snug. I think I just need to drill the hole a little bit deeper into the wood, and then it'll be perfect. So let's do that. Push back, it doesn't go anywhere. 